We begin here at 6 o'clock with education news. Governor Gavin Newsom and his wife Jennifer Siebel Newsom teamed up today to highlight investments in education. 17's Capital Correspondent Aton Wallace was with the Newsoms as they toured a Sacramento high school. He has their message to parents and students. Well, at the Sacramento area high school today, the governor made clear the pandemic has certainly taken a toll on students, but he says California schools are making a comeback. Nothing's better than kids. <laughs> Man. That Governor Gavin Newsom says is the driving force behind his administration's approach to education statewide. This time? Right here. The governor and his wife Jennifer Siebel Newsom today touring Encina Preparatory High School in Sacramento to meet with students, faculty, and staff to relay this message. For me, this is sort of manifestation of our values. We're here highlighting the progress. Progress made, he says, following a challenging pandemic period when most schools closed in-person instruction to go virtual only. But fast forward to today, Newsom says the state is committed to recovering with more than $100 billion set to go to education in his proposed budget. Where'd you get that? He also toured this campus in particular because it's what's known as a community school, a school that goes beyond the classroom to include social and emotional health services, physical health care, and before and after school programs, part of an extended nine our school day. Getting nine hours of enrichment. I mean, how many decades was that debated in the state of California? We did it. And we're doing it. Siebel Newsom noting the importance of community schools in part because of their commitment to healthy meals for all students. What's exciting um, is that they are moving towards fresh whole food so our children are being nourished in mind, body and soul. And while the administration says test scores have improved compared to other states, Republicans say major issues remain, citing 2022 data from the State Department of Education showing fewer than half of California students met English language arts standards and just a third met standards for math. In a statement, the Assembly Republican Caucus said in part, under Newsom's leadership, California students are performing worse in every category. But Newsom argues better days are ahead, especially with more funding to come for community schools just like this one. We couldn't be more proud of this being a model, an example of what we want to see in every school all across this state. And that is now underway. And in May, the governor is expected to provide more definite numbers on how much his upcoming budget will invest in education. Reporting from Sacramento, Aton Wallace, 17 News.